Imagine Europe thousands of years ago, a land of untamed wilderness where the air is crisp and the seasons are harsh. The landscape is a mosaic of dense forests, expansive plains and towering mountains, all blanketed in a shroud of mist and cold. The air is cold, the landscape harsh. Winters are long and brutal with icy winds sweeping across the barren land. Summers are brief, offering only a fleeting respite from the relentless cold. This was the world of the Neanderthals, a world where survival demanded strength, resilience and adaptability. They made their homes in caves and rocky shelters, finding refuge from the elements in these natural fortresses. Neanderthals were our close human relatives. They shared much of our DNA, and yet they were distinct in many ways. Their robust bodies and unique features set them apart from us, but their intelligence and social structures were remarkably similar. They lived in Europe and parts of Asia for a very long time, far longer than our own species. Homo sapiens has existed. For over 300,000 years they thrived in these regions, adapting to the changing climates and landscapes. We know from fossils that Neanderthals were strong and stocky, built to survive in cold climates. Their bones tell a story of a people who were physically powerful with thick muscular frames that could endure the rigors of their environment. They were skilled hunters and tool makers, and evidence suggests they even cared for their sick and injured. Their tools were sophisticated, crafted with precision and used for hunting, building and daily tasks. They worked together in groups, sharing knowledge and resources. For hundreds of thousands of years, Neanderthals thrived in their challenging environments. They developed complex social structures, communicated through language and even created art. Their ability to adapt and innovate was key to their long-term survival. But around 40,000 years ago, they vanished from the fossil record. The reasons for their disappearance remain a topic of intense debate among scientists. Was it due to competition with Homo sapiens, climate change, or perhaps a combination of factors? Their disappearance is one of the biggest mysteries in human evolution. Archaeologists and anthropologists continue to search for clues, examining fossils, artifacts, and ancient DNA to piece together the story of their extinction. What happened to these resilient people? Did they interbreed with Homo sapiens, leaving a genetic legacy that persists in modern humans? Or did they succumb to the harsh realities of their environment, unable to compete with the newcomers? Was it a single catastrophic event or a slow decline over millennia? The answers remain elusive, but each discovery brings us closer to understanding the fate of our Neanderthal cousins. Their story is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit a reminder of our shared history and the mysteries that still lie beneath the surface of our past. The answers, it turns out, lie buried deep within us. Our genes carry the stories of our ancestors, whispering secrets of the past that shape our present and future. In recent decades, scientists have made astonishing breakthroughs in extracting and analyzing ancient DNA, including DNA from Neanderthal fossils. These advancements have opened a window into our evolutionary history, revealing connections we never imagined. This genetic revolution has allowed us to peer into the past like never before. By studying the DNA of our ancient relatives, we can trace the migration patterns, diets, and even the diseases that affected early humans. And what we've discovered is remarkable. Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens interbred. This intermingling of species was not just a rare occurrence, but a significant part of our shared history. This interbreeding means that most people alive today, except for those with purely African ancestry, carry a small amount of Neanderthal DNA in their genes. This genetic inheritance influences various aspects of our biology, from our immune systems to certain physical traits. This genetic legacy suggests that Neanderthals were not so different from us. They shared many of the same behaviors and emotions, indicating a deep-rooted connection in the human family tree. They were capable of love, compassion, and complex thought. These traits, once thought to be unique to Homo sapiens, were also present in our Neanderthal cousins. They were humans just like us, navigating the challenges of their time. Their stories, encoded in our DNA, remind us of our shared journey and the enduring legacy of our ancient ancestors. One of the biggest challenges Neanderthals faced was a changing climate. This wasn't just a minor inconvenience, it was a matter of life and death. The climate dictated where they could live, 
what they could eat, and how they could survive. During their time, the Earth experienced dramatic swings in temperature and environmental conditions. These changes were not gradual, but often rapid and unpredictable, making it difficult for Neanderthals to plan for the future. Ice ages gripped the planet, followed by warmer periods. These ice ages would last for thousands of years, covering vast areas with ice and snow, making large regions uninhabitable. These fluctuations had profound impacts on Neanderthal habitats and food sources. As the climate changed, so did the landscapes they called home, transforming from lush forests to barren tundras. As glaciers advanced and retreated, forests expanded and contracted and animal populations shifted. This constant change meant that Neanderthals had to be incredibly adaptable to survive. Neanderthals, dependent on these resources, had to adapt to survive. They developed new tools and techniques to hunt and gather food, learning to exploit whatever resources were available. Sometimes they moved with the changing environments, following the animals they hunted. Migration was a key strategy for survival, allowing them to stay close to their food sources. Other times they faced shortages and had to find new ways to secure food. This could mean turning to new types of plants or animals or developing new hunting strategies. This constant struggle for survival likely took a toll on Neanderthal populations. The harsh conditions and relentless need to adapt may have contributed to their eventual decline, but their resilience and ingenuity remain a testament to their enduring legacy. Around the same time that Neanderthals were grappling with the changing climate, another human species was emerging from Africa, Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors. Homo sapiens were taller and more slender than Neanderthals with different physical adaptations. They also possessed a remarkable ability to innovate and adapt. As Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa and into Europe and Asia, they encountered the Neanderthals. These encounters were likely complex, involving cooperation, competition, and possibly even conflict. Homo sapiens possessed some key advantages over Neanderthals. They had more sophisticated hunting tools and techniques and more advanced social structures and communication skills. Section 5. Vulnerability in Numbers Another factor that may have contributed to the Neanderthals' decline was their relatively small population size. Genetic studies suggest that Neanderthals had much lower genetic diversity than Homo sapiens. This lack of diversity made them more vulnerable to diseases and environmental changes. Imagine a small village where everyone is closely related. If one person contracts a disease, it can quickly spread to the entire community. The same principle applies to genetic diversity. A population with low diversity has a smaller pool of genes to draw upon, making it harder to adapt to new challenges. Section 6, the final chapter, A Multifaceted Mystery. So what ultimately led to the extinction of the Neanderthals? It likely wasn't any single factor, but a combination of pressures that proved too much for them to overcome. Climate change weakened their populations, competition with Homo sapiens reduced their access to resources, and disease may have delivered the final blows. Their story is a poignant reminder of the power of nature and the interconnectedness of all living things. Neanderthals were not inferior beings destined for extinction. They were humans who, for a time, thrived in challenging environments. Section 7. The Neanderthal Legacy Though the Neanderthals disappeared as a distinct species, their story doesn't end there. They left behind a lasting legacy, not just in the fossil record, but within our own genes. The small amount of Neanderthal DNA that many of us carry is a testament to their encounters with our ancestors. This genetic inheritance may have implications for our health and well-being, even today. Scientists are actively studying Neanderthal genes to understand how they might influence our immune systems, our susceptibility to certain diseases, and even our behavior. Section 8. Conclusion, a story yet unfolding. The extinction of the Neanderthals is a complex and multifaceted tale, one that continues to unfold as new discoveries come to light. It's a story of resilience, adaptation, and ultimately the interconnectedness of all human lineages. As we delve deeper into the Neanderthal past, we gain a richer understanding not just of their story, but of our own origins and what it means to be human.